What is going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Today I'm going to compare the difference between the 3mm Medite MDF that I get from Kitronic. This is classed as laser compatible MDF. So the 3mm MDF that I got from a builder's merchants. So as you can see the main difference between these two is the Medi MDF is quite a lot lighter than the standard MDF from the Builders Merchants. If I shine this in the light, you can see that the standard MDF has quite a bit of sheen to it and it's quite a little bit smoother than the Medi, which doesn't have a sheen to it. Price wise, these are almost identical. The Medi MDF, which I got from Kitronic and cut down into these size, if I ordered more than 250, which the amount I ordered from this equals 400, so I've done it price-wise for the, both the same amount, 400 of these to 400 of these. These ones come out at 71 pence per sheet, including delivery prices. These ones are 67 pence per sheet, so they're four pence cheaper per sheet, but you get almost double the size on there. Uh, this is a 500 by 300, this is a 300 by 300, so you're getting an extra 200 millimeters there um, for 4p cheaper. Is the laser compatible MDF worth the difference? Does it paint better? Does it engrave better? Most importantly, does it cut quicker and cleaner? So let's get over the laser and let's find out the difference between the two. All right, so we're over at the laser. I've got the Medi MDF set in here. Focused it roughly to this point uh, with my two inch spacer for the two inch lens that I've got. Um, I'm gonna do exactly the same with the Builders Merchants MDF. Uh, we're gonna see if it makes any difference. I'm gonna do the cut and the engrave on this one. And then we're gonna do the same with the cut and the engrave on the other. I'm gonna try and keep these both as similar as possible so I've cleaned the lens and the mirrors right now uh, the temperature is 18.3 degrees so hopefully it should be roughly the same when I do the next cut and then I'm just going to do a sample cut of a little heart we're going to try and paint them both and see which one takes paint better too so let's get started <laughs> That goes through nicely. Um, that's the speed and power settings one. For the cut and the engrave. So we're gonna get the Builders Merchants MDF in here next. I did forget to change the name of this one, um, but we, we know the difference between the color of the wood. I'm gonna get the Builders Merchants one in here now, and we're gonna do exactly the same test. Okay, so that's in there, and immediately, this isn't at the same focal height. This is a tiny little bit thinner. There you go, that's just touching there. So I have to raise this just, just a touch. Um, it's probably about a quarter of a millimeter thinner. So I don't know if that's gonna affect anything. If it helps it cut quicker, then better for me. So uh, let's see how it cuts and how it engraves. Water temperature now is 17.8, so it's a one degree difference. So it's, it's not too bad. Uh, it's as close as I can probably get it.
So uh, we'll go over to my workbench and we'll see the difference between these two, uh, the cuts, how they look on the sides, and uh, yeah, we'll do the test cut of the heart and we'll try and paint them too, and we'll see what the difference is between them. Okay, so to paint these hearts, I'm just going to use this standard emulsion, which is frosted white. There we go, you can see that a little bit better. One thing um, I have noticed is there's significantly less residue on the outside cuts of the Builders Merchants MDF as there is from the Media MDF. Edges are a bit darker on the Builders Merchants one. The back of the cut looks very similar, but I'm gonna go for the front of the cut just to see if there's a difference with the residue. got this scrap piece of wood here that I'm going to put these on so I don't get paint on anything else. I'm also going to do the edges just to see how the edges turn out. Now usually without a clean up these edges can be bit of a pain to paint and you get a bit of the residue bleeding through on the surface. I am only going to do one coat of paint on both of these just to see how the paint soaks in and how opaque it is afterwards. There we go. So while that paint's drying, we're gonna take a closer look at these test engraves and the test cuts, and we're gonna see if there's any difference between the two. So the, as I said before, I forgot to change the name on this one. This is the three millimeter Medi MDF. Obviously it's not five millimeter cast acrylic, which was the last test that I did. And while my hands are still slightly damp, there's some stickiness on the edge of here from the residue and there's about the same on the edge of this one. Now comparing the two edges, they do look very similar in darkness with the cuts, thickness is it's pretty much the same, there's the tiniest little bit of difference. So having a look at the Medite. Uh, there's quite a lot of ghosting on the outside from the air assist with the builders merchants there's not as much ghosting side to side comparison with the test engraving I would say that the builders merchants is a little bit darker and a little bit clearer in between uh, that might be due to the ghosting I'm not too sure I do prefer the way the look of the Builders Merchants MDF looks from the engraves. Onto the cuts now. This is the Medites MDF. This is the Builders Merchants. And to be fair, I did press quite hard on this one, which is the same. I'll press on these hard. Nothing, nothing. Oh, that one's popping out slightly. I'm pressing this one quite hard there. That one's moving slightly as well. Not as much though. Oh, there we go. We got that one out too. Nothing, 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 nothing. So, from what I can tell, the cut speeds and powers are virtually the same. I think that the Media MDF will cut a little 
a little bit faster. I do cut this one at 15 millimeters a second at 40% power anyway, just because that gives me more consistent results and things cut through a lot clearer, um, which I'll probably use the same setting for the builders merchants. Back of the cuts, looking closely on both of these, there's some fuzzy on this one, that one, and this one. This is the Builders Merchants. On the media, the Mediates, there's fuzzing on this one and this one only. So the 16mm on the Mediate cut a little better than on the Builders Merchants. As I said, cuts a little bit faster on the Builders Merchants, on the Mediate than on the Builders Merchants. Now I've had a look at the engravings and the cuts. This paint is dry, so we'll have a look at the difference here. Builders Merchants on the edge seems to have taken a little bit better than on the Medite, which is this one. Uh, there is a little bit more yellow in the paint from the edge. As I said, these should be cleaned up before painting anyway, and that's the residue bleeding through. I did want to test to see how that affected it. On the Medite, if you can see this, try to get a shot of that there for you. There is some fuzziness there of the fibers raising from the paint. Now that'd need a sand down and a second coat. On the Builders Merchants, there is a tiny little bit of fuzzy just there and nowhere else. The Medite seems to have covered a little bit better than the Builders Merchants. You can get the light to shine on there for you. This one's a little bit streaky. This one is fuzzy and seems to have covered better. Both of them would need a second coat but the Medite would need sanding between the coats and the Builders Merchants would just need a second coat straight on the top. One thing that I was testing as well was the cleanup on both of these. I got myself a wet wipe and I cleaned off the residue on the top of the engravings and on the top of the cuts, but the camera died just as I was starting to record it and I didn't notice that the camera had gone off, otherwise I would have stopped and charged it and came back. Um, it's now charged and these are dry. Hopefully I can get these focused in for you. That is the Medite MDF from Kitronic. That is the Builders Merchants MDF. And a side by side comparison there for you. I still think that the Builders Merchants engraved much better than the Medite and after cleaning up the feel at the top of the Medite is, is grainy. The Obviously the MDF grain has popped just like with the paint and the Builders Merchants is still smooth and that shiny finish obviously helps protect against moisture and stops moisture bleeding into the MDF. Now, do I think it's worth it for the laser compatible Medi MDF, which is specifically advertised for use with the laser? For the extra price, I don't think it's worth it. I think the Builders Merchants is perfectly fine. You'll get just as good results and it's probably stronger. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and break these in half and I'm gonna see, it's gonna be subjective because it's gonna be how I feel the force of breaking them uh, and I'm going to try and break it right in the middle where the 14 millimeters a second power is. So this is bending fairly easy and there it goes, it snaps right in the middle. Let's try the Builders Merchants one and I'll try and do the same thing. This already just from that seems much stronger. <laughs> All the way over there. Um, I did manage to break that right on the 14 for the Media MDF. For the Builders Merchants, it snapped around the 12 mark. 
looking at the way these broke, they broke very similar. Um, they just tear apart and the fibers are in the middle. They're very, very similar. The Builders Merchants MDF is much, much stronger. I know that's personal opinion and how I felt when I was bending them, but as you saw, the Builders Merchants one just shot off to one side because I had to put that much force into breaking it. And that was while it was already cut in the middle. So a solid piece of that glued to another piece is definitely going to be a lot, lot stronger than the laser compatible MDF. That probably plays into how the speed difference is between the cuts because it, it seems to be a much denser material. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that the Builders Merchants MDF is better or do you think the Medi MDF, which is advertised specifically for laser compatible, is better? Personally, I'm just going to stick with the Builders Merchants one because it's cheaper, it's easier for me to order in bulk and it's pretty much the same. Uh, there's not too much difference. I do prefer the engraving, uh, I prefer the way it paints which is going to be great for my customers which I sell, when I sell it on to them. They're going to enjoy painting on there a little bit better than with the Medi MDF. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I kind of enjoyed experimenting and seeing the difference between the two. If you did like this video, then please feel free to give it a like. I do like it when you guys enjoy my videos and hitting that like button does show me that you are enjoying my videos and it makes me want to create more videos for you guys and explore new things. If you want to follow along with my journey of learning laser work and hopefully teaching you guys something new, um, experimenting with things like that, then please subscribe, uh, follow along. It does make me feel super happy seeing my subscriber count grow. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you later.